Hey everybody, welcome to Art Club Quarantine Edition. Um, today is a special day. I gave a challenge to my middle school students to send me their best selfies. And I said that I would pick the three most creative selfies that I received and then I would draw them or paint them on today's live stream. So it was really, really hard for me to pick just three because I received a lot and a lot of them were super fun. Um, but I had a few standout ones, so we're going to get started. And luckily it's actually pretty fun because there happens to be one from grade six, grade seven, and grade eight. So I got all of the grades, but look at, hello, all my middle schoolers in the chat. It's so great to hear from you. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of bounce back and forth between the three different uh, portraits that I'm gonna be working on, because I think I'm gonna do some watercolor and some charcoal and some pencil, and we'll just see where we go with it. So I did start them a little bit already just because I know that I am not going to finish in an hour if I were to start from scratch. So that's why we already have a little bit of a sketch. So this first drawing that I'm going to be working on is from Ellie. Congratulations, Ellie. Your uh, Christmas light... Um, portrait was very interesting and I decided that we're going to start with that. So I am going to work with some watercolor here and how shall we begin? <clears throat> I think with hers I am going to just create some washes over everything to start with and then I'm going to put it away and come back to it later. It's so nice to see so many students in the chat. I'm like dying staying at home and not seeing you all. It's driving me totally crazy and it makes me sad. So it's nice to see that we're here together virtually because, you know, at least there's that. What will we do without technology, right? Hmm. time talking and painting at the same time. It's that whole right brain, left brain business. You know what I'm saying? It gets really tough to use all those different sides of your brain at the same time. And we'll probably have lots of good background noises because of all the snow blowers on my block deciding to come out. For those of you that don't live in North Dakota or Minnesota, we just had a just had a nice little winter storm excitement. Who is being drawn? Well, I mentioned earlier it's Ellie from sixth grade. Thank you. 
think I need a bigger, bigger desk. I never have enough room to work. Well, hopefully everyone is, you know, managing to stay slightly sane while we're all cooped up in our houses. I know it's been a struggle for me. I definitely don't have as much energy when I am in my house as compared to when I'm in my classroom. So I just get very tired. All right, I think I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. I'm gonna swap things out and move to another portrait. I need to be extra careful with this water because when I started this next one, I definitely knocked my water over and almost landed all over my computer, and it was terrifying. All right, so this one is from seventh grade. This is Michaela, congrats. Um, her portrait was very um, interesting and it was just really calling for me to use charcoal. And I don't really even like charcoal that much, but her portrait made me really want to use charcoal. So that's really saying something. So I'm just going to kind of start with blocking in some of the main shapes in the face. It's kind of hard actually to even say details because it's really mostly just shadows. So I'm just going to start blocking in the shapes of the shadows, I guess. Actually, you know what? I want to use Conte. There we go. Actually really curious what Michaela did on her face here to make it look the way it did because it is very interesting. You know one thing I really can't handle is the uh, 
crunchy sort of sound that this makes. It's really hard for me. It's kind of like nails on a chalkboard. Not really my favorite thing. So Michaela, this is a testament to how cool your portrait was that I'm willing to do this with charcoal. Okay, I think I am going to use a blending stump and kind of play with this a little bit. Oh, my desk is going to be so dirty after this. So in other news, you know, what's everyone been up to? You been doing anything? Anything fun? Sorry, I can't speed things up. I already told you. Oh, for eighth grade, you're just going to have to wait a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> probably just killing you all with the excitement but basically you know if you got an email then you know that it was you if it was an email for me that said congratulations I chose your photo
definitely have cat ear hair in my eye, so that's fun. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break on this one. I'll move on to uh, another one. That's the eighth grade one. And I think I'm going to use pencil for this one. This one just made me laugh. It was amusing. So, gosh. I definitely have something in my eye. Sorry. Okay. It's Michaela from seventh grade. How long have I been drawing like this? I don't know. I'm drawing in a whole bunch of different styles. So this is, you know, pretty crazy for me. But drawing, I don't know, realistically, you know, forever. So this is eighth grade and I think I'm gonna go a little further before I say who it is because I want to because I love leaving you all in suspense because I know you're just dying and I think that's kind of funny So this person was wearing a gas mask and I thought that was pretty fun. They were very prepared for uh, being 
protected. a foreshortening on the forearm. Just always a challenge to get that angle right. Nora, you guessed it. It's Isaac. Good job. <laughs> All right. So Isaac sent me a picture and said, I've got a gas mask and a trash bag and gloves and toilet paper. What more do you need? And I said, I think that's everything. <laughs> I think you got it all. You are fully prepared. And there's nice perspective in the picture too. We're rocking some two point perspective. Very exciting. And a toilet. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's always good. It's a good addition to a portrait. <laughs> And then there's packs of bottled water. Man, so prepared. And I don't know if that's more paper. I don't know. It could be toilet paper. It could be paper towels. It's hard to tell. But super prepared for every emergency. I'm just gonna block in these little water bottles for now. <laughs> okay, so got the basics in here. I think let's work on his face now. Not a lot showing.
Okay. Cool. So I'm at a point where I can shade this now, but I think I'm gonna go back to some other ones. All right, well, it appears that Ellie has gotten a beard, so that's fun. <laughs> I think maybe we'll adjust that just a little bit. Okay, agua. Brush. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so bad at talking when I'm painting. I can't focus on both things at the same time. It's just too much. Too much. There's so many decisions to be made, you know. Any tips for you young artists, Kaden? Um, yeah, my biggest tip is practice. <laughs> just always be making stuff because you know it's not always going to be pretty and it's not always going to be awesome but the more you make the better you get and actually the more mistakes you make the better you get because eventually you learn from all those mistakes and you can learn to avoid them or you could learn like really awesome things from those mistakes to be like this wasn't what I was intending but you know what it's actually really cool regardless so practice that's always a thing um, my personal favorite would be to carry a sketchbook with you everywhere and just you know draw stuff 
Granted, I grew up in the age, you know, pre smartphone, so I had nothing else to do. <laughs> so, and this was pre social media, pre all that stuff. So, I just brought my sketchbook everywhere and I drew everything around me, and that kept me busy. And it was, you know, not quite so boring. Or I would just draw about being bored, because that's another thing that you can do to pass the time. And then I would say my last super big bit of advice would be to not be afraid to take risks. I, that's probably the hardest one. It's the scariest one. But it's what's really going to make you grow as an artist, is to not be afraid of failure. Because, I mean, we're all afraid of failing. You know, I, I am a perfectionist. I will admit that readily. Um, but I also know that I never know if I'm going to be good or bad at something until I actually try it, right? Uh, and so, you know, I sympathize, or I actually I empathize with all of you perfectionists out there who, you know, stick with what you're good at because you're good at it. Because I was that person, so I totally understand where you're coming from. Um, and I understand how hard it is to like get out of that sort of feeling. So, you know, I would just say do something that you're not comfortable with and do stuff that is scary. I don't mean like, you know, stuff that's going to kill you or anything. I mean, in terms of art, you know, productive things. <laughs> Like, for example, when I went to graduate school, I was like, hey, I'm going to go paint and be a painter because I'm a painter. And then my professor was like, you don't get to paint while you're here. And I was like, say what? <laughs> that I was like, but that's what I came here for. She's like, nah, you can do that at home. Find something else to do. And then I started making giant cardboard rocket ships. <laughs> and that was very uh, different from my usual uh, sort of oeuvre, if you would say so. Um, and I think that was like really phenomenal because it really pushed me out of my comfort zone and it made me do things that I never thought that I would do. And it actually like, you know, got me exhibits at a museum and, you know, like press. So it was kind of a big deal. So, you know, get it, do things that are uncomfortable and scary because you grow from them. Okay, I feel like this might need to dry. Yeah, okay, we're gonna hop back to Michaela. I know for a fact that I'm not going to finish these in this hour, and I'm sorry. So I'm just going to apologize ahead of time. So for example, this is a challenge for me, and that's kind of why I chose it. Because it's, you know, there's a lot happening and it's a little confusing. and. I just wanted to see if I could do it. So here we are. Can I do it? Let's find out. <laughs> uh, gonna look at some fingers, I think. My poor baby cat wants in here. And he is not allowed right now because he would jump up on this table and cause some problems. Ooh. 
which artwork piece is my favorite that I've made so far? Oh man, that is a very difficult question. Uh, I, gosh, I don't know if it's in terms of like spaces, I would have to say my nine foot tall rocket ship because that was for sure like the coolest thing. I wanted to live in it and like never leave because it was so neat. Um, but maybe in terms of paintings, gosh, that's hard. I like all of my paintings to some extent. Um, boy, it's probably one of my dinosaur paintings, but which one? I guess the one I'm feeling the most right now is a uh, now I am become death destroyer of worlds because that one is all about the apocalypse and feeling helpless to stop it. And that's kind of how a lot of us are feeling right now. So, you know, that one's resonating with me at the moment. Oh, this poor kitten. He is so sad. Hmm. This nose needs to change. Also, I forget how much charcoal does not like to be erased at all. So yeah, I just gotta like live with my decisions because <laughs> that's what's that's what kind of world we're living in right now. Just live with it. Make scribbles. Be angsty. Because it feels better. I'm gonna have sneezes so bad when I'm done with this. Charcoal makes me sneezy. <laughs> Hulk strength, you know? I'm gonna have like a black line on my wall, you know, when I finish this. It's just gonna be like just this line like right across the back end of this desk. <laughs> oh. Maybe that's why I don't really like charcoal. It's just so messy. 
Granted, everything else I do is messy, so maybe that is not it. It's the texture. I'm gonna be honest. I hate the texture. <sighs> Ugh. And the dust. Dust is bad. So yeah, we had this uh, snowstorm slash ice storm yesterday, today, and that's how bad it is, like being stuck in the house, that I was really excited to, uh, excited to shovel in April. I was like, yes, I get to go outside. I have a reason to be outside right now. All right. So I'm like outside at seven in the morning shoveling because I was just so pumped to like have something to do that wasn't sitting in front of my computer. <laughs> Where do I usually buy my art supplies? Um, if I, I'm really sad because there used to be this local art supply shop in downtown Fargo that I would buy all of my stuff from, but they closed because they went all online, and so I'm kind of sad about that. They're called art materials, so I guess you can still order online, but there's nothing more fun than like going to an art supply store where you know the people will like talk your ear off about art supplies. <laughs> you can debate different uh paint pigments and stuff like nerds that's it's always a good time but I guess if I'm buying things around town I usually just go to Michael's because I get a teacher discount I get coupons and that sort of thing um but I usually buy my big art supplies at um Blick Art Materials on the interwebs Or I guess if I'm buying spray paint, buy it at the skate shop. Gotta go to this skate and snow. Buy your spray paint so you can go spray paint stuff. On the legal wall, kids, where it's legal. Don't break the law. I didn't really think about how messy I was going to get doing this and then I'm probably going to get this charcoal all over everyone else's artwork. Uh, if only wet wipes weren't in such short supply. Man, oh man. Oh, I'm almost done with this. I'm so close. I got 15 minutes left to finish the other two. <laughs> Why did I pick three? What was I thinking? Actually, what I was thinking was that I was just going to do, like, quick pencil sketches, and then, you know, I got excited, and this is like every time I make an artwork, I have a plan, and then I get excited, and then my, my plan drastically changes and ends up taking, like, 20 times longer than I was anticipating. <sighs> this is artist life, people. It's how it works.
All right, I think I'm going to be done with Michaela for for now. So we're going to move on. Were there any selfies that came really close to winning? Yeah, I had a pile of like probably 10 to 12 that I had to choose from. And uh, I actually like just put names in a hat eventually <laughs> because I could not decide and I was having problems. But I am also the most indecisive person in the world. Okay, Michaela. Ah! Oh boy, good catch. We are done with you. Okay. I'm gonna work on, on Ellie again. Well, Madeline, while I'm, while you're talking to me, how's your paper cutting? Hopefully you're doing some of that at home. And next time there's a time to pick stuff up at the school, you should pick up the one you've been working on because I want you to finish it so I can see it. And you can email it to me. Uh, what do I need? Brown. And a small brush. Oh, I have too many brushes. And I should also not put my pen nib in here because I stabbed myself with this while trying to grab a brush once and there was ink in it and now I have like this like blue dot in my thumb from stabbing myself. <laughs> You'd think I would have learned to not do that, but you know. What do you do? Oh, this is still wet. Why did I decide to do watercolor? What was I thinking? Yeah, I also find watercolors hard to paint with, but uh, I used to hate them. 
to be honest. Like, I thought they were horrible, and I thought they were, like, only for little kids. Like, only little kids use watercolor. I was, like, so snooty about things when I was younger. Um, and so I just, like, hated them. And I think it was because I didn't have control over them, and they didn't, like, work the way I wanted them to work. But, I don't know, I just, uh, kept with it. Event. Like, because I mean, I had to do it a lot in college for projects, and I just at some point it just really clicked with me. And then I was like, oh my gosh, actually, I really love that there are things in watercolor that you can't control. Because uh, I'm a control freak, and so, like, sometimes it's good to just give yourself up to it and just let it be, you know, just let it do its own thing. Uh, I think that's probably the best thing about watercolor is that so much of it is just left to chance because there are like a lot of techniques and things that I want to do that like they only happen when you don't want them to happen or you know you try to make them happen and then they don't work but then when you don't want them to happen then it's like oh hey I did this cool thing in a place where you didn't want it. <laughs> So I think, yeah, that like unpredictability is really fun. And it's also like obnoxious at the same time. So, you know, it's kind of a combo of feelings that I have for the... <laughs> I think it's actually kind of funny because I find that painting with like acrylic and oil is now really hard for me because I'm so used to the way that watercolor works and so I try and like make acrylic and oil work like watercolor and it does not behave the same way at all and yeah it's just uh, a little frustrating to make my mind start working in that other sort of way. Okay, Ellie, I think you're at a good point to swap out. We're gonna head back to Isaac. Just going back and forth. So I usually uh, work on a few artworks at a time because I hate like waiting for paint to dry. That's like the biggest thing about um, about being a painter is you spend like the majority of your time waiting for paint to dry. So I guess, you know, it teaches you patience and stuff, which is a virtue, they say. So this really cool thing happened uh, today. I just had an interview published in Hyperallergic. It's like an online art publication that's like international. It's like a big deal. Um, yeah, so, so probably about a month ago I got a message from a reporter from there asking to do an interview about my YouTube stuff and I read it while I was on my lunch break at school and I think all my coworkers thought that somebody had died or something because I just started like freaking out. I read the email and I was like, yeah! and they were like, oh my god, what's wrong? Is everything okay? And I was like, I just, and I was like, you know, hyperventilating and it was, <laughs> I was like so excited because I've been reading Hyperallergic for like, 10 years probably at this point um so it just like was crazy to me that they would want to like write a story about some art teacher from Fargo 
like who makes videos <laughs> oh, so yeah it was like totally nuts and so I did this interview with him like after all this whole coronavirus business got started and just sitting around waiting 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 and it came out today so if you go to hyperallergic.com you can uh, you can read the article about me which is pretty neat it features my uh, top playlist of YouTube videos aka all the self-portrait tutorials all you eighth graders had to watch so um yeah that's neat uh, so i think with isaacs i'm just gonna like clean up some edges and you know if you are like me and get the nasty hand um what can i use what do i have in here <gasps> Do you know what I forgot? I forgot to show the word of the day. What was I thinking? Hold on. The word of the day today. Nope, that was last week. Today's word of the day. Petrichor. It's a great word. So, petrichor. Petra means stone. Ichor. Blood of the gods. Those are some cool words on themselves. But it's the smell of rain. Because yesterday it was raining. And now we have like four inches of snow. Um, which is weird. So, you know, sorry for that delay in things happening. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? I was talking about, oh yeah, preventing smudges. I was trying to grab this paper. Okay, just grab a sheet of scrap paper and then just put your hand over the top of the scrap paper and it keeps you from smudging all the good stuff. Unfortunately, that makes it so that you can't see all the good stuff that I'm doing, but I will do my best to just, uh, you know, go somewhere else. Oh my god, there's pictures of my cats. Oh, look at this cat. Oh my god, cat. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm like an, an obnoxious cat mom. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my cats have been absolutely annoying since I've been working at home. They will not leave me alone, and all they do is meow at me. They're like, Mom, why aren't you giving me treats? you're here we want treats all the time and yeah extra annoying i'm not really a fan they're gonna be so fat when i'm done so you know that's a thing i think the treats also make them very gassy because um doodle's been farting so much like he jumps up on me and then he farts and then it smells like death i mean <sighs> Whoever thought that cats fart, they do, and it's horrible. Dumb cats. Dumb cats. You know. Oh boy. It's four o'clock. I've been doing this for an hour, but I'm going to keep going because I want to finish. Also, to those of you that won, Isaac and Ellie and Michaela, I will be mailing these artworks to you special surprise all these smudges gosh Well, as I'm finishing these things up, I'd really like to uh, impress on you how important it is to continue making things, like especially now when we're all like 
trapped in our houses and like having a lot of issues. I mean, this is hard. This is like a really difficult time for a lot of us. I guess us introverts, it's not quite so bad. I think I'm more extroverted than I thought because this is actually quite hard for me. <laughs> um, but you know, don't forget to like check in on your friends, like send them messages or call them or something. Cause you know, they might need it. And also, it's a really good idea to like document everything that's happening right now because the world is looking to us as artists to like remember things, you know. I think it's really important that we visually remember what's going on and not just, you know, virtually because, you know, the internet might not last forever. But your sketchbook might last longer, so who knows, you know? Oh, I got so many smudges on here. We'll have to erase things. That's some perspective. And some toilet paper. So I'm going to leave it at that, but uh, congrats to all the portrait winners. Maybe we'll do this again, uh, but otherwise, thanks to everybody for watching. Keep creating. I miss you all. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>